Hi guys, I'm back in another video. I know it's been a minute since you guys got a little tutorial from me, but today, as you can tell by the title, we'll be doing a Makeup Revolution unboxing. I'm super excited to be doing this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And without the long talking, we're gonna get right into the video. I miss you guys so much. So we're ashy, hair is not done. This is not it, this is Cinderella before the ball. And this is her after, and just late, period. I'll be showing you guys these goodies and trying them out. I'm super excited for this video, so let's get right into it. So first things first is this face mask. I tried out all the face masks already, so we're just gonna talk about them and get them out the way. This is the Revolution Skincare London X Jake Jammy. And this is Feed Your Face Watermelon Face Mask. Um, this is a hydrating face mask. It smells so good that you might wanna eat it. But it tastes nasty, FYI. Don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> this face mask smells so good. It's like a jelly texture. It's super hydrating. Like, as soon as you wash this face mask off, you'll feel the hydration. Um, I love this for when my skin is dry. This would have been a good day because in the beginning of the video, my skin is really, really dry. And it's super cute. It has like little um, watermelon droplets in it. So it kind of works as an exfoliator as well. This one is honestly my favorite face mask. It reminds me of the Indian Healing Clay face mask, but this is the Makeup Revolution Skincare London um, Pink Clay Detoxifying Face Mask. And it's vegan and cruelty free. Free, I believe all their products are. It doesn't smell that good. It kind of reminds me of like Dove Bar Soap. Um, <laughs> but it will literally suck up all the dirt and oil out of your pores. And I really like this face mask if you follow me on instagram then you already see me try this out on my story so i'll have little clips of that on the screen but this face mask is my fave out of all the face masks lastly we have the peeling solution now this is an acidic peeling solution it's multi-acid peeling solution and it helps smooth skin and improve skin radiance this reminds me of the ordinary i don't know what it is but it's a um it's like a chemical. I'll find it, I'll put it on the screen. It definitely reminds me of it. It has that like blood texture. Here you go. And the ordinary one reminds me more of like blood and bloody like type texture. You probably know what I'm talking about because it's been viral all over YouTube, but this reminds me exactly of that. Um, I tried this out and it does kind of tingle and burn like the ordinary one because I've tried both of them. And yeah, they must have the same chemicals in it, even though I didn't really look at the chemicals that were in this product before putting it on my face. Probably should have, but I didn't. You put it on your face for like about 10 minutes and then you wash it off. It makes your skin feel more radiant and it kind of like, it's like a mini acid peel. So it's supposed to like take off the dead skin and stuff off your face. So this is their last skincare product that's in this PR box. And this is the Niacinide um clarifying essence spray and i believe this spray is supposed to hydrate your skin so you can use it the same way you use like mario badasco or rose water spray it's good for after your skincare routine you just spray a little bit before you go to bed or before you walk out the door in the morning so that it hydrates your skin and seal in all your skincare products um so yeah i haven't tried this out yet but i might try it tonight so if you guys want a skincare routine trying out these products please let me know and i'll get that to you right away but yeah let's get into the makeup so I'm going to talk about this product first because I don't think I'll put it on my face since I already like primed and put on my foundation and everything. So uh, this is the Makeup Revolution London Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer. So it's kind of like a illuminator and a primer mixed together. So this is how it looks on my skin. And let's blend it in to see if it has like shimmer. So it's super hydrating and shiny. It doesn't have like a like a glitter glow to it. But you can definitely tell that it's very hydrating. This might be my new fave primer because I ran out of my Revlon Prime Plus fave primer. And so I'll definitely try this out and let you guys know, is it good, is it not good? Um, but too bad I won't be wearing it in this video today. Okay, so my favorite part of this entire PR box is these palettes. This one is the Makeup Revolution London Forever Flawless Affinity palette and this one is the makeup revolution chilled with cannabis sativa seed oil and yeah i really like both of these but this one is my favorite and let's see why let's let's see why look look at this 
look at how gorgeous the shimmers are my favorite part but um attraction is like my favorite shimmer it has like this bluish purple pink shimmer going on it's super iridescence like it just takes the spotlight like as soon as i opened this palette that shade stood out to me and i can't wait to use it in this tutorial and then we have chilled which is the one with cannabis seed oil in it and it's giving me fall vibes um i really like the shimmers in this one too and i never had turquoise shades like this so i'm super excited to use this palette i don't think i'll use it in this video for the simple fact that i really really want to use the other one so yeah. i'm gonna prime my eyes and then we're just gonna hop right into using this palette i think i'm gonna go in with the top pink by the name of forced it does have a lot of fall off already as you can see i'm just patting in it and the fall off the fallout is just all over the place <sighs> So I'm just blending this into my crease using windshield wiper motions. Next, I'm gonna go into Reveal, which is this mauve-like pink shade. I'm going back into Force, just blending this all over the eye. Going back into reveal, I am just blending the edges so that it creates this ombre look, transforming from dark to light. Then I'm going back in with whatever is left on this brush and I'm just blending that out. Then I'm tapping into this brown shade, which is called Connect. And after patting it down, I'm just going to blend it in. So I'm going in with my white concealer and I'm going to cut my crease. And a great thing about this palette is it comes with a mirror. I love palettes that come with mirrors. It really does help. And plus for some reason, I'm always breaking the palettes. Now that my crease is cut, I'm going to go in with um, Attraction. I'm super hyped to tap into this shade. I'm going to start by putting it in the front part of my eye. Oh, yes. This? This is what we're here for. This is exactly what we're here for. Do you guys see this pigment? No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all see this pigment? So I'm going back into connect with this, which is the brown shade, and I'm just going to blend the edge of this. You want to use a very, very light blend for this. You don't want it to be too harsh. So my camera cut off, but I added the brown a little bit with a light hand. You want to blend in a little bit of brown at the end of it. And then you want to go in with a smaller brush and put a little bit of pink here and blend it out so that it makes that ombre from the brown, the pink, and then the shimmer. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Okay. And then you can just lightly blend the brown back into the pink on this side of the, on this side of the eye instead of this side of the eye. So I'm going to blend this way. 
but yeah y'all see this i know you see it and then i'm going to be using my a1 day one highlight i'm not gonna say its name if you know you know And now using the brush that we use for reveal we're just going to blend this out and reveal was the light pink shade you could tap a little bit into it to help you blend it out so I'm gonna finish my face off camera and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna finish up the eyes Okay, so now I'm going back into Connect with this brown shade. I'm going to put that into my eye first. And then I'm going into the pink shade, which is Force. I'm going to put it under the brown, but overlapping the brown as well. So we're going to put it on top, but under. And lastly, I'm going to tap into Reveal and apply that under. <sighs> now I'm tapping into Empathy, which is this pressed glitter. I'm going to apply that in the inner corner of my bottom eyelid. So the eyes are almost done. I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Revolution Lift and Define 5D Lash Extreme Dimension Mascara. And this is in super black. Let's see what it's all about. I have so many mascaras, but let's, let's see if this could be my new fave, actually. Okay, I like the brush. This is just one coat on my bottom lash. So this is two coats. This looks really, really nice. I like the definition in the lash. It's not like chunky. So this definitely might be my new mascara. It made my eyelashes look 10 times longer, defined, and it's not like cluttered or chunky or stuck together. I really like this mascara. I'm gonna have to try it a few more times to see if I wanna make it my fave, but so far, so good. And this other product is a Makeup Revolution Pore Perfecting Primer. This primer is actually like a moisturizer texture, so. So it's very moisturized and lightweight. It kind of feels like um, lip balm. Obviously my face is already done so I can't put on another primer, but this would be great. Especially if I'm going for like a natural makeup look. The last and final product is this Makeup Revolution lip gloss. This lip gloss is in the shade Thirsty. Um, It's pretty dark. So I don't think I'm gonna wear it with this makeup look, but here's how it looks. It's like a reddish pink shade. I'm gonna go in with my lip liner. I'm going go for a little bit of black. And lastly, I'm gonna spray my face with the Hydrophilix Fix Spray. Ooh. 
and pat it in with my beauty blender. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash tutorial. I had so much fun. The look came out bumped. So if you enjoyed this video and you made it to the end, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up, put your notification bell on, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all of this. But that's it. As always, remember to be beautiful and love yourself.